Hi, so yes, I know I look exhausted. It's because I am. Um, so I thought I would give you all an update since my PET scan. It came back worse. And now the plan is that we are going to attack it with double chemo. And the new chemo they want to put me on it sounds really harsh when it comes to side effects. Like, besides the normal fatigue and nausea, there is extreme diarrhea. And on the super long list of common side effects, also has coma. So, so the very long long list of side effects has me very nervous and gives me anxiety um, since I've been allergic to a few chemos before. Not all of them, but a couple of them that I've done. This one does say that if you have had an allergic reaction or anaphylactic that you're most likely going to have it again. So, I'm not excited for that either. Um, of course, my husband is going to go with me and make sure I'm not alone when I try out this new chemo. And, ugh, cancer sucks. I'm exhausted. And I have to do this new chemo weekly. It's the rotation is three weeks on, one week off. And then I do at, oh, at home chemo every day. So once a week infusion and pills every day for three weeks. Then I take a week off the infusion, but I'm still taking the pills. So... That's gonna suck schedule-wise. That's gonna suck energy-wise. It's just gonna suck. <laughs> but trying to keep positive and have faith and just make memories and enjoy the time I have. I am thinking of setting up a meal train till we get the hang of it because yes my husband can cook and he does help out but he also has fibromyalgia and has days that he's really exhausted so we need stuff we can either just throw in the freezer or from the freezer to the oven or like food delivery because when I'm really down I cannot cook doesn't matter if I'm starving or not <laughs> um yeah that's the update I've got it's it's a lot to digest and try to understand Thanks for all the love and support and prayers. They are very much appreciated. I love you all.